welcome you to the single biggest night in the history of CAW Wrestling. We welcome you to the greatest show on canvas. This is VWF Fixin' Mania! Hello again, wrestling fans. I'm Brian Henniger coming to you live as we can be from University of Phoenix Stadium in Glendale, Arizona for a night of wrestling excitement like you've never seen before. This is the showcase of the Immortals. This is Vixen Mania. And let's go to Diana Buffer for our opening contest. Strong words there from Ashley Simpson. Here comes the second competitor in this matchup, Renoa Hartley. Ladies and gentlemen, we are starting off Dixon Mania with the single most exciting match we present all year, the Queen of the Mountain Ladder Match. Very simple how it works. There's six uh, Vixens in this contest. Each of them has the opportunity to climb the ladder and retrieve the briefcase. First one to do that gets the briefcase, is named Queen of the Mountain. And that person will earn a world title match guaranteed at any point between now and the next Vixen Mania event in one year's time. And as Yusagi Sakino can tell you, winning that briefcase can make you a world heavyweight champion. Let's go ahead and bring out our next competitors. We'll 
Riku now making her way in from Spira. And I'm sure she's got a lot of fans all over the world. We can't wait to see if she can become Queen of the Mountain. And she has as good of a chance as anybody else. She makes her way to the ring for this contest. Riku ready, here comes competitor number four. The zero fighter herself, Rumble Roses her to Riku Hinamoto. And folks, this is our opening bout. We've got some great wrestling planned for the entire show tonight, folks. Hope you're ready. We've got Haruka and Michiru taking on Yusagi Sakino and Makoto Kino for the World Tag Team Championships. We've got Monaco Aino taking on Yuna for the Intergalactic Championship. We've got the Battle of the Supernaturals, Astarte versus Aerith. The Hardcore Frenzy coming up. And of course, our main event tonight. Stakes couldn't be higher. BWF versus The Career. It's gonna be Abdallah Bin Laden, the World Heavyweight Champion taking on the one and only Ami Mizuno. And there's our fifth competitor, folks. The super hardcore anime Lufisto. New ring attire for her for the time, by the way. Not going with the uh, mini skirt, going with a uh, sort of a blue bodysuit there. Looks nice, not gonna lie. Well, we've met. Five of our competitors, here comes our sixth. And it is Hillary Duff. Ladies and gentlemen, we're so glad you're joining us wherever you might be. Exclusively here on pay-per-view for one of the greatest events in the history of CAW wrestling, the first ever Vixen Mania, but folks, if we're not too careful, it could be the last Vixen Mania. We all know the stakes of the main event, the Hell in the Cell match coming up later on. So hopefully there will be a Vixen Mania for one of these ladies to cash in their Money in the Bank title match. As we close out our first ever season in the history of DWF Wrestling. Folks, hope you're all ready. Find a comfortable spot on the edge of your seat because it is Vixen Mania. Bell sounds were underway. Now I explained the rules earlier, but folks, they couldn't really be any simpler. Climb the ladder, retrieve the briefcase, you'll become Queen of the Mountain. Folks, I'm going to try to cover all the action as best I possibly can. It's going to be fast and furious, hot and heavy, wild and wooly in this opening contest. And there you see all six of the ladies. One of them will have that briefcase at the end of this contest and will have a guaranteed World Heavyweight title match they can cash in at any point between now and next year's Vixen Mania. Let's see what we got here, folks. Ashley and Lufisto battling right now. Riku and Hillary Duff. There's Reiko Hinamoto. She's got Ashley. Oh, and a suit play there by Ashley Simpson, folks. I'm going to try to call the moves here as best I can, but it's going to have a lot of action. And Lufisto going to go for the first ladder in this contest. Lufisto's been trying to become World Heavyweight Champion for quite some time. Winning this match would be a great way to go towards doing that. 
And Mephisto's got her a ladder. Sets it down now. And now Renoa going for the second ladder in this matchup. Slides it in. There's also a chair in the ring, which Hillary now has. Oh, and Riku knocked off the ring apron. Renoa sets up the ladder. And you see that briefcase, folks. That's what all these ladies are going for. We all know what's at stake. The chance to become world heavyweight champion. And oh, Ashley's put that chair around the neck. Oh, of, Re of Reiko Hanamoto. And just may have crushed her larynx. And folks, as she said earlier, this is the new Ashley. This is the new Ashley Simpson. And she's got steel chairs. And she's taking people out left and right. Just took out Lufisto, but she's still up. And that chair has just been broken apart. Now all the action spilling out of the ring. A few wrestlers not coming back in. It's now just Reiko and Ashley in the ring. The other four competitors out of the ring. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, an elevation neck breaker there from Ashley Simpson. And she's going to set the ladder up. Going to maybe be the first person to try to retrieve the briefcase. There she goes. But Renoa there to fight her in. Oh, here we go. Wait, no, Renoa's got... Oh, my God! Just powerbombed Ashley Simpson off of the ladder. And she is setting that ladder up in the center of that ring. No gets knocked over. Renoa now has the second ladder. Oh, and takes out Ashley. In this opening encounter of Vixen Mania here at University of Phoenix Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. It has been an exciting last few days. All the national and international sports media has been here covering this phenomenal event. Biggest event ever in CAW wrestling that has ever been held. And we're so glad you're here to join us exclusively on pay-per-view television. We hope you like what you see, folks. And now Riku's going to town with that ladder. And all six competitors now in the ring, they're all going at it. And Lufisto's got a hold of a ladder. But no Snapmare takeover. This ring is just full of insane craziness, folks. And no traditional pinfalls to speak of. Only way to win, climb that ladder, retrieve the briefcase, and have what you might say is your Vixen Mania moment. Lufisto now climbing up the ladder, making the first go for the briefcase. If she pulls it down, she gets a guaranteed match. And, oh, she's knocked off by Renoa, and she goes down to the floor. We have seen just some in unbelievable action in previous ladder matches. Here in the VWF, this one will be no exception, I can assure you, ladies and gentlemen. And now, would you look at that? Both Reiko Hinamoto and Hillary Duff had ladders. Hillary won the exchange. And now she's going for the briefcase, but I think she realizes she's out of position. She comes off the ladder. Riku now has a ladder. Lufisto knocked off, and now Riku cleaning house with the ladder. Wait, Renoa. Oh, top rope to the floor of the arena. Tries to take out Lufisto, but Lufisto was able to get up in time. So many individuals in this matchup, folks. It's going to be hard to keep up. I'm going to try to cover this match. But it ain't easy, folks. Riku up now. Oh, and a tilt to world DDT, and down goes Hillary Duff and knocks over the ladder, but she kips up. She's excited, folks. Wait, Hillary has got a hold of Ashley Simpson. She's going for the Boston Crab. That Walls of Jericho style Boston Crab, but that move confusing to me because there are no submissions in this matchup. But I'm guessing her logic is if she can take her legs out, she can't climb that ladder. Now another submission maneuver here from Hillary onto Ashley. Got her on a Mexican surfboard. 
That will put her on the shelf for a few moments. Might put her out of this matchup. Now Riku's up. So much excitement in this first match of Vixen Mania, folks. We're so happy you're joining us wherever you are. You are in for a treat. We've also heard word that a limousine has just arrived. And that means that the hardcore champion of the world, Lindsay Lohan, is in the back and ready to start this hardcore frenzy she's been talking about. And did you see that? Riku now the only one left standing. And she might try for a ladder. No, nope, Hillary's up. She's got a ladder. Gonna set it up now. Riku and Hillary both have got ladders. It is a takeover there by Reiko Hinamoto. This matchup, ladies and gentlemen, has been nothing short of, of amazing in just the early goings. We're not even 10 minutes in. It's already been just blinding the excitement. Ashley now climbing up the ladder, gonna try to retrieve the briefcase. Nope, she can't reach it. But she's out of position. Riku now climbing up. She's got her hands on it. Trying to retrieve the briefcase, but no! Lufisto knocks over the ladder and takes Riku out. So much drama in the early goings of this Queen of the Mountain ladder match. Irish Whip. And wait a minute. <laughs> well, Ashley's got that ladder up like a like a propeller. She took out Renoa and Riku, but she made herself dizzy, and now she's gonna go out of the ring. Down she goes. On a gut buster from Riku, and now Riku. Irish whipped into the corner. Renoa's got a ladder now, and so does Lufisto, but Lufisto down. Oh, and a clothesline off of the ropes by Ashley. And a big splash, and oh, well, I think someone's bleeding. I'm trying to see. Yep, it would appear that Hillary Duff has been busted open. Hillary Duff is bleeding. That's not going to be good. As Lufisto sets up a ladder, takes it down again. On a suit play there from Ashley Simpson, and down goes Lufisto. Well, if you had Hillary Duff in the first blood pool, you just made a little bit of money, and she is busted wide open. There's just insanity, folks, in this match in the early going. But Renoa up. Oh, went for a top rope leg drop, but she missed Lufisto. Now Hillary Duff has a ladder up. I, oh, and she goes face first. That'll make that wound on her forehead probably even worse. Oh, and an Arabian face buster onto Riku. Each one of these ladies knows what this matchup is all about. It's about retrieving that briefcase and becoming the queen of the mountain. And it's not a guaranteed world championship match, but it gives you a golden opportunity to become the heavyweight champion of the world. Lufisto now sitting up a ladder in the middle of the ring. Nope, Riku takes it apart. Body slam by Rayco onto Renoa. Ladder set up in the corner there by Ashley Simpson. And Riku's got Ashley. Oh, back elbow by Ashley. Oh, and a shining wizard will take her down. Now she's got that other ladder. And she is 
clearing herself some space it would appear. She sets it up and she's climbing that ladder trying to retrieve the Queen of the Mountain briefcase. She's got her hands on it if she can bring it down. But no, she's knocked off the top of the ladder. And now Hillary battling through that uh, cut above her forehead. She's climbing up that ladder. You can tell she's fatigued. Wait a minute, Reiko. She's climbing up now. And they're going to go to town atop the ladder. Wait a minute. Oh, my goodness. Kill switch from the top of the ladder. And that will have to take out Reiko Hinamoto and a big splash from Hillary Duff onto Reiko. Look at the replay, folks. Here it is. Had her up in the kill switch position. And as the ladder went down, so did the two of them. And she went face first onto the mat. And now Hillary's got a hold of Lufisto. Gonna put her in that Boston Crab. She's got her. Walls of Jericho style wrenching back on her lower spine as Ashley positions that ladder. She may try to retrieve the briefcase. She's making her way up, folks. And Hillary Duff is coming after her. And it's early going. Oh, and knocks Hillary off. And now Ashley all by herself going for the briefcase, trying to pull it down. She's trying to unhook that... Uh, that coupling that has it attached to that cable, but down goes Ashley Simpson right across the top rope. And this match will continue on. You know, when you're fatigued and you're nervous and you're already excited, it's hard to work that, that hook atop the, uh, atop the ladder to bring down the briefcase, so it may take a while. And Renoa Hartley brings another ladder into this contest. There wasn't enough excitement, and now she and Ashley both have ladders. And Ashley now got a hold of Renoa, it would appear. She's trying to punch her, but she's concussions in Green Street. She missed, but Renoa didn't. She took her down. This matchup has been nothing short of just awesome. And this is our opening bout. Here at Vixen Mania, folks, we've still got a whole lot of fun to go. Riku has got a lot of stuff on her mind. On oh, a slingshot suplex, and down goes Reiko, and now Lufisto has a ladder. That chair just got taken out. And tilt a world backbreaker to Hillary Duff. Now Riku's got the ladder. She's sitting it up. She's gonna go for the briefcase, it would appear. She's climbing up there. And she's got the briefcase. She, can she bring it down? No, she can't, and she goes down. Courtesy of Lufisto. Lufisto, one of the most fun competitors in all of the VWF, but make no mistake, this woman is a dangerous, dangerous person. She's competed in hardcore matches all across the country. She competed once in Combat Zone Wrestling's notorious Cage of Death event. Oh! She just got body slammed right onto that ladder that's set up in the corner via Ashley Simpson. And now... Renoa taking some people out with a ladder. And she's gonna try to set it up here. But now Hillary making the climb up. She is still bleeding, ladies and gentlemen. No, that ladder knocked over by Riku. This event, folks, has been sold out for weeks. Over 70,000 screaming fans are here in Glendale, Arizona. They've come from all 50 states. They've come from 17 different countries. They've come from Japan, from Canada, Great Britain, Wales, Ireland. Earlier today, folks, at the meet and greet, I met some fans who came all the way from Iceland, from Reykjavik, Iceland, to see this event. 
They're here from across planet Earth to witness this mind-blowing event of wrestling action. And you're here as well, folks, and we're so glad you're joining us. All six ladies here just embroiled in combat in the early goings of this matchup. Now, try to focus on a few of the individual matchups that are uh, sort of evolving here. Rako's got Ashley up. Hurricane Ron and down she goes. Lufisto now is back up. She's setting up a ladder. There's another ladder set up here. Nope. <laughs> the ladder is getting knocked over. That wrestling mat, folks, it can be kind of bouncy. And they can uh, make objects like that look like they have a life of their own. Now it's all set up again, and this match continues on. We're about 20 minutes in here, folks. Oh, Lufisto thrown into that ladder. And now... Yes, Reiko is busted open. That's two bleeders in this contest so far. This ring is just full of craziness in the early goings here of Vixen Mania. Now Ashley sets up that ladder in the middle of the ring. She's going to go for that briefcase again. She is obviously hurt. But you will fight through the pain if it means becoming a champion. Went for the briefcase, but Renoa knocks Ashley off as she tilts that ladder over. And here we go in the early going of this amazing event. Lufisto now leaves the ring. She's looking for her a little bit of a toy to play with, and she gets another chair. Number three in this match by my count. Ashley now climbing up the ladder. Going to go for the briefcase. Renoa was up, but she got knocked off. And now Ashley going for that briefcase. And Lufisto going to follow her up the ladder. But she gets knocked off. And now Ashley's knocked off by Riku. Riku up now. Oh, and a big splash. On to Lufisto. It is an absolutely gorgeous day here in Arizona, folks. I wish you all could see just how beautiful it is. Out comes Ashley. Nope. Thought she'd get taken down, but she was able to uh, avoid contact there, and now well, shows off a bit, and that's what happens when you show off in a match like this. You know, the odds are always against you in a match like this because there are five other people who want to stop you from succeeding. Oh! And Reiko Hinamoto off the ropes takes out Riku, but takes herself out as well. And now Ashley's got Riku up, brings her back into the ring the hard way. Oh, and Ashley off the ropes takes out Riku. Back into the ring now, Lufisto making her way to the top of the ladder. She's got her hands on the briefcase. Oh, but she gets taken down. This has just been an amazing evening of wrestling so far, ladies and gentlemen. We're only 30 minutes into the show. Can't wait to see what else we got planned for you this evening. Renoa's got herself a ladder now, and she's taking people out. She just took out Lufisto. Back suit play by Ashley Simpson takes down Reiko Hinamoto. Rumble Rose's superstar. And now, setting a chair Underneath Reiko's face, what is she thinking of? She might be thinking of uh, conducting the steel chair orchestra with a little bit of a uh, concerto, you might say. Well, there's a second chair in the ring now. Oh, 
a missile drop kick takes out Ashley Simpson. This ring right now is starting to look more and more like a car wreck you'd see on the interstate than it does a wrestling match. Rayco up, went for a drop kick, but Ashley a bit too far away. There is violence, there is pain, there's excitement, there's drama. All the stuff you love in wrestling, it's happening right now. Oh, and a steel chair. Via Lufisto takes some wrestlers out. I believe. I believe. Yes! Renoa's been busted open. That's three wrestlers bleeding right now in this contest. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm trying to follow this as best I can, but you and I can plainly see there is just so much excitement, so much action being packed into that 20-foot square ring. Because all six of these ladies know what's on the line, the chance to become a world heavyweight champion. And it's not just the title, it's not just the glory. You gotta think also about the money that comes with being world heavyweight champion. All the great publicity. Mufisto has a chair now. Throws it down. Ashley now climbing up. She could be retrieving the briefcase. But no, Lufisto brings her right back down. A few of the ladies here have made a few serious attempts toward that briefcase. But it's not been easy. And now Ashley and Riku on top of that ladder. That's a scary situation. Ladder's about nine feet above the mat. Oh, and kicks Riku off. She's trying for that briefcase, but you can notice she's way out of position. She's up. She's taking a something high risk maneuver. Oh! She went for a splash, but nobody was home. The adrenaline rushing so hard, she just got back up. But now Hillary Duff has got her in the walls of Jericho, that Boston Crab. That's three wrestlers she's taken out with that Boston Crab. And now, Renoa sets that ladder up in the corner. She's thinking of something. Because those ladders, as we have seen many times, can be used both as a weapon, as well as a means of retrieving the briefcase. Oh, and an elbow drop to the floor by Hillary Duff. What a matchup in our first contest of Vixen Mania. Like I said earlier, we're hoping it won't be the last Vixen Mania. Oh, and Ashley's got a ladder. He just took out Renoa. And now... Riku, outside the ring, Ashley's got that ladder. She sets it up in the middle of the ring. And now she's climbing up. You can tell she's hurt. And now, oh my, she's hung. She's got the briefcase. She's hanging on for dear life. She is hanging on in. Can she bring it down? Oh, speared off the briefcase by Hillary Duff. Oh my lord! And now Hillary, let's look at this again folks, look. Ashley hanging on. Hillary Duff in the bottom of your screen. Jumped up and just speared her off of the briefcase. And that's a hard landing and she is out. All six of these ladies are gonna be injured. I hope the hospital here in Glendale has some extra beds. We'll need them. Because all six of these women are gonna be busted and broken by the time this contest is over. Now Hillary Duff got a hold of the ladder. 
Taken away by Reiko. And she is going to town. She just took out... It would appear she took out Hillary Duff. See the blood staining that steel chair. This match has been violent. Because everyone knows what it's all about. That briefcase. And... You know, you could become a millionaire overnight by becoming world heavyweight champion. And that briefcase is your golden opportunity to become world heavyweight champion. And all six of these ladies know it. Ashley now has got the ladder. She is going to town that she's positioning it under that briefcase. Trying to see if she can get ready to climb up. But nope, Hillary has got it ready. Oh, float over DDT there by Ashley Simpson. And she's positioning that ladder now. Riku, take out Ashley. Rayco's down, Hillary's down. So much drama in this opening bout of Vixen Mania for the Queen of the Mountain briefcase. And now Ashley Simpson sets up that ladder underneath the briefcase. She's made, I think, the most attempts of anybody to retrieve that briefcase as this contest reaches the 30 minute mark. And all six of these ladies you see fatigued, obviously broken up and injured. Missile drop kick by Riku takes out Hillary. But now Lupisto with a bulldog takes down Riku. Ashley back with the ladder. And she's using as a battering ram. She's taking people out. Oh, and slams it onto Lufisto's back. Riku gutbuster onto Renoa. And now some double teaming maneuver onto Lufisto. Double vertical suplay. Oh. Reiko knocked to the ground, and she's got that ladder. And now. Hillary gonna put the Boston Crab that Walls of Jericho onto Renoa. Oh, and again, Ashley hanging on for dear life from that briefcase. Can't she pull it down? Well, no. Hillary pulled her down and dropped her to the floor of the ring. DDT there. And a backbreaker by Ashley Simpson. Riku now picks up a ladder. Nope. Oh, German suit play by Ashley Simpson. Moonsault attempt, but did not connect there by Reiko. And now, Hillary throws a ladder out of the ring. I question that decision. Riku now sets it underneath the briefcase. She could be making an attempt. Yep, she's climbing the ladder. She's climbing that mountain, trying to become the queen. Nope, she can't pull the briefcase down. Oh, and she's knocked off the ladder. This ring is just filled with craziness. This barely controlled frenzy of Queen of the Mountain as this match now passes the 30 minute mark. And all six of these ladies showing the signs of battle, showing the wounds of war. And all six down, Hillary only person up. She is gonna try to climb that ladder it would appear. And she is slowly climbing up that ladder. Nope, gets knocked off. Oh, and a bolo punch there by Ashley. Oh, and a modified Bulldog by Rayco onto Ashley. 
<laughs> Folks, we may not have a winner. They may have to just haul all six of these off like cordwood. From the looks of things, this match may not end. But it's going to have to eventually. Nothing good lasts forever. As Lufisto's throws up, she's got the briefcase. Can she pull it down? No, she gets knocked off by Reiko. Oh, and a backbreaker by Reiko onto Riku. Oh, and Reiko's got a ladder. She takes out Ashley. And three of these ladies now fighting in front of me. Riku taking some advantage now, sets up a ladder. She's now going to begin the ascent. Body obviously racked with pain. Ashley's going to follow her. This is not going to end well for both of these ladies. Ashley Simpson now. Oh, shoves Riku off the ladder. Now she's got a hold of the briefcase. Can she pull it down? Can she pull the briefcase down? Can yes! She pulls it down and it is all over! Thank God it is over! 32 minutes and 36 seconds is the time it took. Oh my God. Here are some amazing highlights from this opening bout. The brutality, the carnage, the violence, the grit, the will, the determination it took to become the champion of this match, to become Queen of the Mountain. What? An amazing bout, and there you see Ashley Simpson retrieving the briefcase, and now she's got a golden ticket. She has got that golden opportunity to become Queen of the Mountain. And by that, I of course mean to become World Heavyweight Champion at any point between now and next year's Vixen Mania. What a way to win. What an opening bout. And there you see Riku, one of the competitors who lost. It looks like a car wreck in that ring. Wait, wait a minute, folks. We're going to the back. Ladies and gentlemen, Morgan Webb found Lindsay Lohan, and she is starting off the hardcore frenzy. We're in the parking lot of the University of Phoenix Stadium. And ladies and gentlemen, the rules are very simple. The 24-7 rule is in effect at any point between the start of the pay-per-view, which is almost an hour ago, and the start of the main event. And oh my God, they're right in front of my car. That's my Pontiac, guys. Oh no! Slams right onto the hood of my car. <laughs> I just got that thing paid off, guys. Come on. Find someone else's car to destroy. We're getting away from it, thank goodness. Lindsay now has a trash can. Oh, right to the back there by Morgan Webb. Thank you, ladies. Stay away, please. Okay, they're on someone else's car. Thank goodness. And now Lindsay slams that waste paper basket right onto the midsection of Morgan Webb. She's got her up fisherman suplex. Oh, and just crushes that waste basket. That aluminum trash can. They knock over a couple of piles of cardboard boxes. They've got some stuff from catering. Oh, and drops her right onto those boxes. Now remember, in a hardcore match, it can end by pinfall submission or by referee's knockout decision. So if they get knocked out, it'll end this match. They're trying to knock someone out. And it's open to anybody this hardcore frenzy. Anybody who wants to go for it, they can. Oh, and another fisherman suit play, this time by Lindsay. Takes out Morgan. She's not been knocked out. The match does continue on. We have a referee there that is trying to determine when a knockout occurs. 
Oh, and a fisherman's buster to Morgan Webb. This bout for the hardcore championship in the early going of Vixen Mania. Right to the back, folks. Oh, and a bulldog. Remember, it's hardcore rules. It can be any of these matches are going to be for the hardcore championship. Oh, Morgan's got a fire extinguisher. Oh, and clubs are right into the back. And again. Oh, and no, wait. No, Lindsay wrestles it away. Oh, and right to the midsection. Oh, and blasts her. With that fire extinguisher, that's carbon dioxide. That's going to blind you for a few seconds. Lindsay wrestles it back away. Club to the face. And is she... Nope, she's still moving. It's on a knockout. Oh, and a fisherman suit play there by Lindsay. Yep, it's knocked out. This is over. Lindsay fights off the first challenger in the hardcore frenzy. And on that note, let's go to Tiffany in the back. Well, that'll be our next matchup, but we just cut to the back because another hardcore match in the Hardcore Frenzy has happened. This time, Danica Patrick! <laughs> and she's going to town on Lindsay. And you gotta remember, Lindsay wanted this. She issued the Hardcore Frenzy Challenge on, on Nitro. And this is what you get. Oh, a low blow by Danica Patrick in a Lupez press. As the still obviously injured Lindsay going to work now on Danica Patrick. Danica's fresh. And they're still fighting in the car park of University of Phoenix Stadium here in Glendale, Arizona. Throws Lindsay to the ground roughly. Oh, and an elbow to the small of the back. Positions Lindsay. What is she thinking of doing? She's got Lindsay up. Could be thinking of a stalled vertical suit play. Oh, and it does. And throws her right through that pile of boxes. She's got a trash can now. And she is going to go to town with that. Oh, and throws right onto the small of Lindsay's back. Oh, a spine buster by Danica Patrick. And it's over. The referee has ruled it a knockout, and we have a new hardcore champion in Danica Patrick. That's our first title change here. Could this be the second one, folks? World Tag Team titles on the lines coming up next. Hataka and Michiru taking on Yusagi Sakino and Makoto Kino, folks. This is going to be fun. This is going to be exciting. Let's go to the ring get this one going.
here come our challengers. Makoto Kino and Yusagi Tsukino. They earned this right by defeating the Simpson sisters on Monday Nitro a few weeks back. And here we go. This match has become very personal in the last few weeks. As these two ladies would love to become the new tag team champions of the world. But they want to do it, they got to go through these ladies right here. Let's bring them out. Hanukkah and Michiru, controversial as they are, they've also proven their worth of becoming World Tag Team Champions and remaining World Tag Team Champions. But are they going to leave Glendale, Arizona with the championships? Well, that remains to be seen. These fans tell them exactly what they think of them. I don't think our champions, however, really care. Because they've got the belts. And they don't mind letting you know exactly how they feel of you. And this Prince is going to be a very physical very exciting matchup. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get this one going. And that's what it's all about. The Tag Team Champions of the World. Referee holding the belts above the ring. The fans see them. And more importantly, the challengers see them. And it is time to fight. Bell rings. We are underway. Michiru and Yusagi Sakino to start off in the ring in this contest. Side headlock there into a waist lock there by Michiru. Nope, headlock by Yusagi. You know, Dusty Rhodes always called tag team wrestling the game of human chess, and in a lot of ways it is. Oh, and a nice lariat clothesline. This matchup begins. So much riding on this night. So much riding on the main event, but a lot of riding on this too. The tag Team Championships of the World. But it is a game of human chess, like I was saying earlier. Dusty Rose was very true because it's all about positioning. It's all about... So much of it is all about the mind games of professional wrestling. Isolating your opponent into your corner, not letting them get to their partner, making those quick tags, that is the mark of a great tag team. If Usagi and Makoto want to win this match, they're going to have to utilize all of those things. Waist lock, reversal into a headlock there by Michiru, nope, knee by Usagi. Oh, a nice reverse neck breaker there by Michiru. Into the corner. And we're going to see uh, some double team maneuvers here. I do see. Yep, here comes Haruka. Oh, and an elbow after a drop toe hold. That is the danger of a tag team match like this. Double teaming will happen a lot in this contest, I do believe. Because our World Tag Team Champions have made a career out of utilizing the disadvantage of their opponents by utilizing double team maneuvers. Yusagi now desperately needing to make a tag out. Hook of the leg now covers one. Nope, broken up by Makoto. 
headlock there. And now Usagi. Oh, a DDT, and that'll take her down. But now she's going to have to try to make a tag out to her tag team partner. Got her up, thinking, oh, a nice front DDT there. And reversal now, Hadika. Oh, and another DDT of her own. As this matchup enters the early part. Oh, and a tilt-a-whirl backbreaker. And that'll... That'll put you in a serious amount of pain. Irish whip. Oh, and a spear tackle. Mitridu tagged in. She's going to take over. And it's those quick tags. Isolating your opponent. That is the key to a tag team. And look how quick this is. We're going to tag Hadika back in. Keeping your opponents off balance. That is an important part of tag team wrestling as well. And if you don't know who you're facing one minute to the next, I'll keep you off balance, no question about it. Oh, wait. Had Usagi up. Oh! But a German Sioux play. And she's feeling it, but she might want to get to her corner, make that tag. Oh, a drop kick, and down goes Haruka. Irish whip into the corner. Went for a kick there, but... Haruka blocked it, and now a German suit play of her own turns her inside out. Makoto on the apron, trying to get the crowd into it. And, nope, full arm dragon twist. Irish whip now, Yusagi out in a big clothesline, and down she goes. A hook of the leg and a cover. Can we over here? Covers one. That's about all she's going to get is that one count. And she's got Yusagi up. Military press. And lets her drop to the ring floor. I see it every time I see that. That is a huge amount of upper body strength you have to have to pull off a maneuver like that. And that's one of the reasons why they're champions. They're very strong and they're very powerful. Oh, backbreaker there by Usagi. And now finally she'll get the tag in to Makoto Kino. And German suit play there by Makoto. Oh, and takes out Hadaka. Covers now one. Could be new champions? No. Thought we'd have new champions there, but Michiru breaks up the pin. And Makoto Kino now. Oh, and a Polish hammer by Haruka. And she knocks Usagi to the floor. But she's back up. Reversal now. Haruka. And Makoto going at it in the middle of that ring. They're trading blows. Oh, and a neck breaker by Makoto Kino. New champions could be. Hook of the leg covers one. No, nope, broken up by Michiru. Now Haruka the one in trouble. But now you'll notice Makoto favoring that knee of hers. And that's never a good sign. When you lose your wheels, it's hard for you to move around the ring. Any athlete will tell you that. We have just had an amazing time here in Glendale, Arizona. Earlier this week, um, the management of the VWF were given the key to the city. And I ceremony held at City Hall. Many of the uh, top wrestlers were there as Mitridu tags herself in and starts going to work. Now hook of the leg, we'll retain the championships, cover one, cover two, no, kick out by Makoto Kino. Got to meet so many great fans and 
Folks, wherever you are, we're so glad you're joining us today. Now, oh, a huge Huda Kanrana there by Hanukkah. Onto Makoto, she's up to the top rope now. She's thinking of something high risk. She's up, went for a cross body block, but it was blocked by Makoto, and now she has an opportunity to take advantage. She's up, went for an Asai Moonsault press, but it was blocked itself. Now, oh, big slap, and down goes Makoto. So the strategy session there by Haruka and Michiru, and now the match continues on, Michiru. Irish whip, out comes Makoto, she's got her up, and a Hurricane Rana takes her to the floor. Oh, and a snapmare takeover. And a kick, and takes down Yusagi Sakino. But she also may have hurt herself there. And now Makoto is up. That World Tag Team Championship, folks, so much history in the World Tag Team Championships throughout the wrestling world. Looked as if uh, Haruka was trying to take out Yusagi again, but she was able to avoid her. Now Monaco throws her into the corner. Tag in to Yusagi, could be some double team maneuvers of their own. Hope she's got her up. Oh, atomic drop into a front thrust kick. By Yusagi Sakino. Do not count out the challengers, folks. There's a reason why they're going for the belts. It's because they can wrestle. Oh, big DDT. And down will go Mitridu. And now covered. Could be new champions. Lateral press to it. No. Thought we'd have new champions there. Challengers now starting to take control of this matchup, friends. Oh, a big drop kick into the corner now by Michiru. Oh, a bit of a show off there. I guess if you're World Tag Team Champion, you can afford to show off a little bit. She's got Yusagi up. Oh, and a front suit play. That'll knock the wind out of your sails as this match is past 10 minutes. We've seen a lot of action. Oh, what a reversal there by a power bomb. But you see Usagi's in pain. She's going to want to make a cover, it would appear. Drop kick. Now she's going to have to make the cover. Will she get over? Yes, in comes Makoto. Down goes Michiru. Will she take out Hanukkah as well? Yes, Hanukkah is down. Well, Makoto could be thinking. Of the MKO, yes! Hits the MKO! We can have new tag team champions cover one, two. No, it is broken up by Hanukkah. Thought we'd have new tag team champions. But it was not to be. And Mitridu now back up, back in control of this contest. Head scissor takeover. And she's going to try to make a, a tag out. Will she get in? Yes, makes the tag, and in will come Haruka Tenno. And she's putting those fists in. Nope, Makoto able to come out. She's up. Oh, and a Asai Moonsault press. And she is getting fired up as we speak, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, short arm clothesline. She's still got a hold of her. And another short arm clothesline turns her inside out. And she's going to the top rope, higher risk maneuver. She's thinking of, oh, a double knee to the midsection. Gonna try it again, it would appear. Don't know how smart this is, she's up. And now a forearm to the face. Gonna go again. She's up. Oh, she went for the flight of Jupiter off the top rope. But went to the well once too often as now Hanukkah. Near her corner, 
She's knocked down before she can tag in Michiru. Wait, michiru has got a hold of her. Hanukka now. In a dazed state, trying to recover. Shoves her out. She's got a hold of her. Nope, reversal. Doing, doing a full arm dragon twist. Hanukkah thrown right into that turnbuckle. And now she's up. What is she thinking? Oh, elbow off the top. Is she going to try to fight a Jupiter again? Nope, waiting for another elbow. But in this case, Hanukkah was able to get back up. And the match goes on. Now, front face lock by Makoto. She's got her up, throws her over. She pulls Hadaka back up. Oh, and a Savate kick, and down she goes. She went back up. Will she try to fight a Jupiter again? She does. Flight of Jupiter off the top rope. And she'll now tag in Yusagi Sakino. We could be very close, ladies and gentlemen, to see new tag team champions. Here's the Moon Clash. Moon Clash hits the Moon Clash. Do we have new tag team champions? Hits in the cover. One, two, is it over? No, kick out by Hanukkah. And Yusagi Sakino came within a gnat's eyelash of winning the tag team belts for her team. And now, Haruka has got Yusagi up, perched up top the top turnbuckle. She's thinking of something. She's up. Oh, and an 8.0 off of the top rope. It's going to be all over at this point, one would have to believe. But now, Yusagi, a house of fire, she's back up again, another moon clash. Will it now be enough? She knocks Michiru to the floor. Do we have new tag team champions? Covers her one. Is it over now? Yes! It is all over! 14 minutes, 58 seconds, and ladies and gentlemen, we have got new tag team champions of the world in an epic encounter. Here's some highlights of this matchup, fans. What a phenomenal match. As you can see, Yusagi up. It took two moon clashes to do it. But we have got new tag team champions of the world, and you see them right there in their crowning glory. What an encounter, friends. What an encounter. Folks, here we go to the back. We're going to see if this hardcore frenzy is still going on, ladies and gentlemen. And you have a camera back there. I think we've got some action. As we take one more look at the new World Tag Team Champions. What an amazing match. Now, we some actions going on. Do we have our camera turned on back there? Yes, it is. And now, who is it? It would appear it's X-23. She just throws a huge amount of, uh, of weapons into Danica Patrick. And the Hardcore Championship is still going on. What an appropriate name for a match. Hardcore Frenzy. Chop block there by Danica Patrick. Now she's got a kendo stick. And goes to the back of X-23. Never a dull moment here in the VWF. Especially when the hardcore belt is on the line. And Danica beating her like a dog with that Singapore bamboo cane. And now she's got a folding chair. And she is going to work with that folding chair. A Noah Jawbreaker. And now she's got the kendo stick. Ice 23 right across the head and takes her down. Will that be enough for a knockout? Oh, wait a minute. Oh my god, now she has a sledgehammer. 
Well, no, Danica's got the sledgehammer. Oh, and right to the midsection. She's got to have broken ribs at this point. It's almost certain she has broken ribs. Oh, and now she's got X-23 up. No reverses out. Oh, and a swinging netbreaker by X-23. What is she thinking now? Oh, knee to the midsection. He's got her up. Could be a power bomb. Yes, drops her. And is that it? Nope, she's still up. So it's on a knockout. This match is still on. She's got Danica by the hair of the head nearing the catering table. That's some nice looking food, too. I'm kind of hungry. Wait, she's got a... Oh! That was a nice looking beef roast. But she used that beef roast, used the pan, steals a mop from... Was that a referee doing some mopping? I knew that there had been a budget cut or two. I didn't realize the ref's having to do double duty now. But anyway, back into the uh, business at hand here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, another power bomb onto that garbage can. And is it over now? No, it's still going on. But she used the pan from that standing rib roast to take out Danica. Now she's got that mop again. Oh, jabs her in the midsection. And breaks the mop handle right across the back of her. And this is still going on, ladies and gentlemen. This is hardcore. X-23. Oh, a kick to the back of the head. And it is over now. It is a knockout. We have a new hardcore champion. Whew. Folks, let's go to the back. Let's go to another interview we got set up. Do we have it ready? Yep, there it is. Well, harsh words there from Abdallah bin Laden, but the hardcore frenzy continues, and now it appears Lara Croft is going to take uh, going to take part in it. And we're in one of the locker rooms here at University of Phoenix Stadium, and X twenty three going to work on, on Lara Croft. Oh, and throws Lara onto that anvil case. Oh! They're in front of one of our lockers. She's got her up. Power bomb. Oh! Power bombs are into that that solid wood locker section, and she may have a she may have spinal issues right now. Oh, and an elbow. Now X twenty three. Oh! Throw it on that anvil case, and now she's gonna go onto it. She gets knocked onto the anvil case. Those contain our lighting equipment and other stuff. And those things are heavy and they are very painful. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not sure Lindsay Lohan thought this all would happen when she declared a hardcore frenzy at Vixen Mania. But this has been just a non-stop battle from the word go. 
Back into the match here, and now Lara Croft. Nope, kick away by X-23. And Arm Drag takes down X-23. And throws her into that television set. And throws her into the other set of lockers. She's got her up. Oh, and power bombs her into the lockers. And it's a knockout. It is over. And Lara Croft now the hardcore champion. We'll recover from that, folks. Now it is time for the Intergalactic Championship matchup. It is going to be Yuna taking on Monaco Aino. Folks, let's not waste any more time. Let's get this matchup started.
to thank Hallowick for providing us with uh, some great music right there, folks. And ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the Intergalactic Championship. And here comes Yuna. And uh, got some special ring attire tonight. There is a... Uh, says here, she told me earlier this is her floral follow dress sphere. Looks like an angel almost. Right, she gets underway and... She has been wanting this matchup ever since Judgment Day. This is a rematch from Judgment Day. In which she had a chance to become the Intergalactic Champion. However, the situation happened where she thought she was going to be facing... Ray Hino, when instead it was Ray's partner in the Senshi, Monaco Aino, who replaced her and ultimately became the first ever intergalactic champion. And Yuna has never forgotten that. She has now had a chance to prepare for this match and see if she can win. Here comes her opponent right now. Here comes the Intergalactic Champion. Oh, wait a minute! Eunice deciding it's we're not going to wait for this to get in the ring. We're just going to start right now. And this matchup has not officially begun yet. I don't think she really cares. Match is now underway for the Intergalactic Champion. Reverse Knife Edge Chops coming from both ladies. And here we go. Monaco Aino and Yuna for the Intergalactic Championship. Yuna trying to avenge the loss at Judgment Day. Monaco, you might think, maybe wanting legitimacy. Now, hook of the leg and a very quick cover gets a one count, and that's all she'll get. They always say in professional uh, boxing and MMA especially that, you know, unless you defend the championship, you're not really a champion. Side headlock there by Yuna. She comes out, headlock now by Monaco. Nope, headlock by Yuna. A lot of chain wrestling we're seeing in the early going here. She's got her ready. No oh, reversal into a headlock. Oh, and throws her into the turnbuckle. Now Monaco out. As this contest gets going. Oh, clothesline, ducked under. Full arm dragon twist by Yuna. Reversed out by Monaco into a hammerlock. You can't sell Monaco Wino short. She may have been lucky in the way she be, she got into the finals of the tournament, but she defeated Yuna, and she has been the champion ever since. You can't deny it. But Yuna... Yuna wants to prove that she is the real intergalactic champion. Now hook of the leg by Monaco. Cover and just gets a one count. Nothing else than that. Ladies and gentlemen, we're still recovering from that amazing tag team championship match. That we just witnessed here at Dixon Mania. And we've still got two big matches that are planned after this. We still have the Battle of the Supernaturals. And so that amazing main event for the World Heavyweight Championship inside the demonic Hell in a Cell. Yuna now with a cover. Gets a one count. Yeah, it's two and that's pretty much it. Irish Whip now. 
Oh, goes for a clothesline, but Monaco out of the way. Oh, and a big front face bulldog. Oh, and a baseball slide drop kick onto Yuna. Monaco up. Went for a, almost like a, a leg lariat off the top, but Yuna was able to get out of the way. She's up. Oh, and a clothesline that she springboarded off the ropes to deliver. She's up. Splash, but Monaco out of the way. Monaco Aino, she's got Yuna up. Oh, and a nice Savate kick. Springboards off the ropes. Lateral press now, gets a cover. Gets one, and that's all. This has been one hell of a show so far, folks. We ain't even halfway finished. Oh, a plancha, but Yuna out of the way. Yuna has got Monaco up and was gonna drop her, but Monaco out of the way. And they're fighting in front of our audience. Now she got Yuna up and drops her face first onto the guardrail. She's up now. Oh, and a plancha, but it did not connect. Now she's got Monaco slams her face first onto those diamond plate steel ring steps. Oh, and just, nope. Blocked by Monaco. But a couple of those will concuss you. She's obviously hurt right now. And the fighting still outside the ring. Oh, and a kick to the temple. And she now, oh, a big slap there. She's up. Oh, and a Hudakun Rana springboards off the top rope. Hook of the leg now. Gets a two count, and that's all she'll get. Irish whip. No, blocked by Monaco, who almost gives her a choke slam maneuver. And a big kick to the face. She now goes up to the top rope. She's waiting. Oh, and went for a leg drop, but Yuna out of the way, and she may have just injured herself. And now, there it is, figure four leg lock. Submission maneuver attempt there by Yuna with a figure four. She's up. Oh, and a back body press into a splash. It found the mark. Irish whip now. Oh, a back body press off the top rope. Oh, and an elbow. Going up to the top rope. She's up. Oh, and a double knee right to the solar plexus. Hook of the leg now. Cover quickly. One, two. No. Thought she'd get a two count, but got no more than that. A shining wizard in Zaguri there. Monaco starting to take control of this contest. Oh, wait. Victory roll by Yuna. Gets a cover. One, two. No. Matchup very exciting in the early going here. Both ladies trying to feel each other's weaknesses. I'm going to say this, though. You can't count out Yuna, but you also can't count out Monaco Aino. I mean, she is the intergalactic champion, and champions want to retain their gold. And oh, over the top. No, Yuna holds on to the top rope. Oh, and a clothesline, but Yuna ducks under, and Monaco went over. Up, and a splash will take down Monaco Aino. No need of the midsection, and now got a hold of Monaco. Throws her into the guardrail. And now into the ring post. Oh, and the face first again, and throws her back into the ring. And now Yuna ascends to the top rope. She's thinking of a higher risk maneuver. This could be dangerous if she, nope, thinks better of the idea. Oh, and a Luthez press and just lets that anger loose onto Monaco. Yuna obviously very, very frustrated with the fact that, well, I'm sure she believed that she should have become 
And we've got the champion now, victory roll cover, and doesn't even get a one count there. Yuna starting to find that second wind. Outside headlock. And Yuna, those punches and a couple of reverse knife edge chops there. Oh, and a spear tackle knocks her off of the guardrail. Oh, she's up! Oh, a huge moonsault! But it did not pay off! And a bulldog there by Monaco Wino. Now she's putting those kicks in a front drop kick. She's got her up. Hurricane Rana takes over Yuna. Up. Oh, and a Savate kick manages to find a mark. Throws Yuna back into the ring. But, oh, Yuna drops her throat first across that top rope. Yuna went for a plancha, but it didn't connect. Yuna throws Monaco back into the ring. We're back now into the ring here, which is smart because the title cannot change hands via pinfall or submission, so you've got to get it done in the ring. Monaco. Oh, a bicycle kick to Yuna. Great show of ring presence there by the Intergalactic Champion. She's got her up now. Oh no, inside cradle. Covers her one. No reverses out. Now Monaco on top. Break out at one. Oh, and a bulldog headlock. Monaco climbs to the top rope. She's up. She's thinking top rope Savate kick. And that may settle this match like nothing else. Got Yuna up. She could be thinking of the V-kick. No! Hits her with that huge super kick. But does not get the three count. She's got her up now. Head scissors take over. And Monaco definitely in control of this matchup. Now she, oh, another big bulldog headlock there. Ascends of the top rope. This is a dangerous idea. Another top rope Savate kick. This match has been just pure danger in the early going. Another super kick. Hits it again. Two of those massive super kicks. Will that be enough to get the victory? Did not go for the pin there. I'm a little confused as to why. Victory roll cover. This could be the end right here. Cover one. No reversal out. Cover one. Kick out there by Monaco Wino. Both of these ladies. Victory roll now. Cover one. Two. Do we have a new champion? No. Kicks out right at the last possible moment. I was saying both of these ladies have that desire to be intergalactic champion. That is what is fueling the desire of this matchup. Kip up there by Monaco. Shining Wizard. And now, nope, kick away there by Yuna. She's got her, nope, back elbow. Could it be a third super kick? A third thunderous super kick, that's gotta be it. Lateral press, it has to be over at this point. Cover one, two. No. Kick out. And it was a very, very long two. Maybe two and seven eighths. But it was not the three count. I think everyone thought she had her at that point. She's got Monaco back up. She, but they're both favoring their heads at this point. And another Lufez press. Oh, and a big elbow. Yuna now starting to find that second win. Could be another figure four leg lock. 
And there it is. A move made famous by the iconic Nature Boy, Ric Flair. She's got her up again. Into the corner she goes. And now Yuna puts Monaco on that top rope. Throws her down. She's got her up. What is she thinking? Oh my lord! Corkscrew DDT. Covers her one, covers her two. No. That move was the Shatter Sphere. But it did not connect this time. On another big bicycle kick from Monaco. She climbs to the top rope up. Big body press splash. These ladies are going to leave everything inside the ring. They're going to leave everything inside. Now victory roll by Yuna covers her one. Two, will this be enough? No! Kick out at the last possible instant. As we near the 15 minute mark of this matchup, Yuna obviously seriously injured. She's not going down. Irish whip throws her into the corner. She comes out, but you look there, she didn't have the energy to run to the corner. She was obviously seriously hurt. And runs her backside right into the midsection on a tilt a world DDT there. Huracan Rana by Monaco. She's thinking of something. She's got something in mind here, ladies and gentlemen. Up and another head scissors takeover. She has thrown three of those super kicks at Yuna, and they have not taken her down. And I think maybe she might be thinking, what else can I do to beat this woman? Another top rope Savate kick by Monaco Wino. She may be signaling for that V kick. Nope. She's setting her up for a package power bomb. Cover one. That's all she will get. Yuna will not be denied. She will not be denied. The right to become intergalactic champion. But Monaco Wino is in control of this matchup, friends. If you didn't think she was before, that Shining Wizard would tell you. Monaco now definitely has control of this matchup. Oh, could there be a fourth super kick? There it is! She has thrown four of those signature super kicks at her. And she's still, oh, it's gonna be over now, you have to think. No! How is she still up? And now, she's gotta be frustrated. She's gotta be thinking, what else is there to do? Inside cradle now by Yuna. Gets a cover, gets a one count. No reversal by Monaco, one. Two, reversal again, one, two, is it over? No, kick out by Monaco. Yuna's got to feel invincible at this point. She has taken four of those signature super kicks. And then take her down, now victory roll. Could this be it? Cover one, two, is it over now? It is over! With a victory roll, we have a new intergalactic champion. 17 minutes, seven seconds is your time, officially. And you heard right there, friends. New intergalactic champion is Yuna. And she has avenged the loss one month ago at Judgment Day to become intergalactic champion. What an amazing encounter. What a thrilling match. Oh, ladies and we're back in the ring. 
And Hardcore Frenzy continues on. Now it appears that Jill Valentine is going to try her luck. Now we're still in the dressing room. She's got a hold of our current Hardcore Champion, Lara Croft. Just knocked over a sofa. This is Hardcore Championship 24-7 rules. Oh, and throws Lara into those lockers. Now she's got her up. Going to power bomb her into the lockers. And ladies and gentlemen, this has been just a crazy, crazy night. Jill Valentine now has got Lara Croft by the legs. Pulls her up. She's putting her on that weight bench. Oh! Face first onto that weight bench. I'm pretty sure that's not covered by the manufacturer's warranty. Lara Croft now. And again face first to the weight bench. She has just got to be concussed. And she's got a, a barbell. That barbell is a 100-pound barbell. What is she doing? Oh, no wrestled away by Jill. Oh, and right into the solar plexus. Oh, and drops it throat first. On to Lara Croft. That can incapacitate her. She is looking just to cause serious pain tonight. And that huge DDT may have just ended the match. Got a garbage can. She's smashing it onto her. Oh, and that's at the lockout. Is it over? Yes, it is over. We have a new hardcore champion. What a match.